Hi everyone, this is Lexicon Luther. You can call me Lexi. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to use Blender to alter a mesh. It's actually really easy. I'm Today I'm going to take a bed that has no mattress and I'm going to lower the headboard and the footboard. I'm actually going to kind of remove the footboard. This is so that a certain type of blanket can fit on it. I'm going to go here to object. I can do sort of anything over here. I normally do this in standalone recolor. I've just always done that. So I'm going to hit object. Go to the item. As you can see I have some custom content here. I'm going to actually go to this bed which, which is by Anna Chibi Sims. She is one of my favorite people. Next. It's going to open up and show you I'm over here in TS3 for really no reason. Um, this is how you save sort of your backup file so that if you're messing with this and you don't like what you did with it, you can always go back here. I'm going to say, what do I want to make this? No foot board. Go ARD? Sure. Save. Okay, so this is your item. Uh, we only have five recolors here. This is your catalog. It tells you exactly what it says in the item description when you go into the game. This is how much it costs. These are your meshes. A few things. First, this is your, your these are what your item, item actually looks like. High is going to be on like best graphics, really close. Medium is what it looks like when you zoom out or if you have, you know, less than, you know, optimal graphics. Really important to replace both of these because if you only replace one and they zoom out or they zoom in, it's going to look different. Shadow I never mess with. You don't really have to. Um, as you can see, this shadow has not been altered. It's actually still got the mattress in the shadow. I have yet to see an altered shadow. Normally if you go in here in shadow, you can see exactly what item they used to clone whatever they did. So for this, they used this exact bed and they just took off the bedding. Um, Okay, so I'm going to export the medium mesh. I always alter the medium mesh or the low mesh, the lowest mesh quality that I can because when I import it, I want all my polygons and all my vertices to be low. Plus, I don't like doing this for three different versions. I don't like doing a high version, a medium version, and a low version. So if I just do the low version, I can import it to everything. and I only have to do this once. I'm all about saving time. Okay, did we already do this? No, we didn't. Okay, so we're going to export mesh. As you can see, this is my folder. I'm still in TS3 content because I I guess that's what we're going to do. Okay. Uh, remove foot board B-O-R-D B-O-A-R-D Save. Okay, now it's going to open it up in your save file. It's super convenient. At this point, if you do not have Blender installed or if you do not have the correct version of Blender, Sims 4 Studio will tell you you don't have it and they'll give you a link that you can upload it from. I think that's super handy. So we're going to go over here, double click to open in Blender. This is the item. A couple of things. White thing here, right click. White thing here is the um, footprint. This, of course, is the bed. These little triangles are action items. This is your rig. This is how your sim kind of interacts with the bed. Um, whenever you... Well, actually, I'm not going to mess with it. We're not going to worry about that right now. All we're going to do is do the headboard and the footboard. So I'm going to go over here. There we go. Okay, so right click selects items. Uh, the middle mouse button is your camera essentially. So scrolling in and scrolling out. If I hold it down and move it around, that's rotating. Hitting control and then moving your mouse, sorry, the mouse wheel will move it back and forth. And then if you hit control and then you hold the mouse wheel, you'll just zoom in and zoom out. That's kind of all it does. Those are your camera options. So, we want to edit this thing. I, I think I'm just going to pull this portion down. I think the bed works with the headboard. I think the, the, the um, blanket works with this headboard. So I'm just going to pull this down. So, go to from 
object mode, we're going to go to edit mode, making sure that we have the correct thing selected here. Kind of hard to see on the dark bed, but these are all the vertices. I'm going to get rid of this. If you don't want to see stuff, just hit the eyeball next to the item. <coughs> Those are really distracting me. So, this is your bed. Hmm, how am I going to do this? Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shrink it along the Z axis and then kind of move it down. Essentially all I'm doing is squishing the um, the footboard. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to select the footboard. So a couple ways you can do this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Sorry guys, I just learned how to do the camera like two days ago, which is hilarious because I've made set rule meshes right now. I didn't know how to do this until just now. Okay, so these buttons down here, this controls what you select. If the vertices portion, that's that you have to select the whole vertices of the item. If the edge portion is select, you only have to, you can right click the edges, those are edges only. These are sort of the faces. Um, that's of course the flat pieces. So I usually use faces because it's easier for me to see. So I selected faces and now I'm going to enclose this entire footboard. So B is for box. Using your right mouse button you're going to enclose this. Holding down the right mouse button you're going to enclose. As you can see that highlighted kind of everything. Now I have to do this side. Depending on the transparency of the item and depending on... Why didn't that... Oh. Sorry, depending on the transparency of the item, sometimes you'll select stuff that you don't want to select. So I'm being kind of careful right now because I don't want to mess with that. Select defeat. Oh no! God. I'm like normally like super smooth. I'm somehow like nervous. And I'm not even talking in front of people. Okay, so we have this whole thing selected. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go over here to scale. We want to squish it, you'll see. So scale, we're going to hit Z for like up and down, and then you just move your mouse around. See? Super squishy. It's so squishy. Okay, I'm going to squish it a little bit. Super accurate description. Yeah, that looks good, whatever. And then I'm going to translate. Translate on the Z axis again. Pushes it down. And down. There we go. Ta-da! There you go. There you have it. Um, if you think that the footboard is a little wider than you want it to be, you can do the same thing. You can go scale, and instead of the Z axis, you're going to hit the X axis, which is side to side, and you're going to squish it. Squishy, squishy. There you go. Boom. Okay, so now that you've done that, and you're like, wow, this, this bed looks super awesome. I like it a lot. You want to make sure that this sorry. A is all or none. Go to object mode. Sorry, what I was saying. You want to make sure that it's still connected. Sometimes I disconnect stuff on accident. So you're going to click that and everything selects. That's awesome. Put the eyeball back. Okay, everything's the way it should be. So we're going to go file, save as. You th So this is your mesh for your new item. So I'm going to say new bed mesh. Isn't that cute? Save as blender file. I am in... <sighs> Let's not do it there. Let's do it in my mesh folder. Okay, new mesh blend. Save as blender file. Okay, so back here to the Sims 4 Studio. We are going to import for high. We're going to import that mesh. Alright, I put it over here, didn't I? Uh, new bed mesh. Where did I put you? Ta-da! Look how good it looks. It looks so good. We're geniuses. Import. Again. Okay, so. I've imported both meshes, or rather I filled this spot with my one mesh and this spot with the same mesh. Uh, I'm going to go to catalog. I'm going to change it to Lexicon Luther Tutorial. Blah. Gonna make it cost a dollar. 